Hello Virgo, here to give you insight for the month of August. Happy birthday by the way. So let's go ahead and clear space for you. Okay, let's take a look and see what the potential new energies are for Virgo. Dark energy. What is going on? Okay, we're going to start off like that. <laughs> what is going on? Oh my gosh. I was hearing purging. So some of you very well could be purging this energy. Okay. Separation. So someone is in separation with someone. Okay. Relationship. Friendship. I don't know. Energetically, you could feel like you're... you're disconnected or separated from reality or something like that that's for some and this is, this could be because of dark energy so be sure to cleanse your space your energy thick energy what is going on yeah the, this thick dark energy <laughs> um i was hearing you can cut the tension in the room so it could be your environment could just be kind of overwhelming the energy is just very thick and i was hearing sticky I was hearing like hard to breathe. Wow. Internet beef. So there could be some internet beef. What is going on? Or somebody's involved in internet beef. You can be watching it. I was hearing this could be somebody's um, entertainment. You're a star. How can you not shine? Wow. So you're a star. How can you? How could you not shine? And how can you not? Shine? Not shine. Oh my god, cotton mouth here. Excuse me. I'm sure, that noise kind of irritated some of you Virgos, but okay. So yeah, you're a star. How could you not shine? So some of you could be doubting yourself. There could be some heavy energies here. All right. I was hearing that some of you very well could be a star or somebody who's in the limelight or. Um, in a position where all eyes are on you. All right. You're doing what you're, you're you're supposed to do, which is shining, which is spreading your light. That's for some of you. But this energy could have been dimmed. Anyways, think light and positive. Yes, think light and positive. This could very well be a mindset you're in. Okay. Don't be afraid. Move forward, brave heart. So, move forward. Don't be afraid. And pick one more card. Virgo. Pure bliss, hell. Okay. So, what once was pure bliss is hell for some of you. I was hearing a sweet dream or beautiful nightmare. Um. There is an energy of like someone portraying a situation or uh, maybe portray, uh, portraying a situation as um, blissful, beautiful, all good, but it's actually hell. All right. I don't know. I was hearing somebody could be going through it. I was hearing uh, this could be an ex that was once in pure bliss with you, but they're in hell. They're just going through it. Okay, what is going on? So wild. Oh. All right, Virgo. What's going on Virgo in the month of August? Virgo, choose your battles. So you're choosing your battles at this time. You could be dealing with some people who have really big heads or they're really focused on themselves or really full of themselves. All right. Um, Spirit was telling me that this could be you. All right. Uh, somebody, some, I'm just going to say, somebody is trying to choose their battles. They don't want the smoke. They don't want the issues because with these people... I mean, they have really big heads and opinions and 
uh, it's just I was hearing can I take you all on all right I don't know what's going on with that crown chakra that's crazy because uh, spirit asked that I um, play some binaural beat, beats or music that is focused on the crown chakra so uh, crown chakra it's um, your consciousness is the chakra for enlightenment it's where you receive di divine messages so for some of you you're being divinely guided to choose your battles or to maybe um, protect your energy or to yeah, just or set some healthy boundaries in some way you're being divinely guided to do so and for some of you it's hard because you don't want to be alone all right it's hard for you to set these healthy boundaries because you don't want to feel alone others of you you did set this healthy boundaries these healthy boundaries are in place you followed your intuition or uh, this divine guidance from god or your ancestors whatever or whoever and you set these boundaries in place, but you're feeling alone. I was hearing homesick. Some of you could feel homesick or someone feels homesick. They feel like they don't belong with the five of, of this is pretty much five of pentacles. All right. I was hearing isolation. There's someone who feels isolated. What is going on? Yeah, it makes a lot of sense with the separation. Somebody probably got kicked out of the house or they maybe left the house or left the home or something like that. I don't know. Embrace. I was hearing accepting things as they are. There is someone accepting things as they are. They're, um, they're rebuilding themselves emotionally. Um, when it comes to, yeah, when it comes to their emotions, their heart, the heart as well. I was hearing embracing the changes and embracing the drought. Some of you could have been in a drought or someone was in a drought. They were patient. They went through the process. They went through hell and back. And now there's a sense of growth. Like there's some growth here. And I was also hearing like big and being the bigger person. blossom mm -hmm. so there's some growth here uh, strengthening bonds wow so so you're blossoming I feel like you're some of you are stepping out of your comfort zone you're doing different things um, you're feeling you're shining bright I'm hearing some of you Virgos like I said have a birthday in August okay so you're shining bright like a diamond um, you're really connected to like Mother Earth, nature. I, I was also hearing that um, getting some type of return. Okay, some type of return. So some of you could be receiving um, either financial aid or um, re receiving a blessing through the earth, through like Mother Earth. Okay. It's like I was hearing like the universe, the earth is giving back to me. That's what I was hearing. Um, I also see this as taking the step forward. Somebody is making um, an investment or they're taking a step towards something solid with someone. There are the energy of someone feeling left out in the cold, but not for long. They're strengthening the bond with somebody here. Somebody that wants to invest in them. Someone that wants to offer something tangible. Okay, this very well could be God. Uh, the universe, whatever, um, offering you something. Because for some of you, you felt alone. But here comes this offer. Here comes this new beginning. There's a seed here. It's the energy of a seed. Like a seed, the seed could be an opportunity. It could really be anything. So this is looking pretty good. Hmm. Um, this is a, this could also be a friend like um, I, I was also hearing conversation so for some of you you could have been like a loner or didn't have anybody to talk to or connect with or something like that or you were going through something and there's someone here um, 
that's come to your aid or that is providing some type of support that makes you feel like you're strengthening your bond. I guess that makes sense. I don't know. What else do we got here? So two number sevens. Yeah. Seventh house, relationships, partnerships. Libra. It's a seventh house. You could have Libra in your chart. Um, what else do we got? Let's pull two more cards for Virgo. Two more cards for Virgo. This is a strong energy of somebody getting the boot here. Rest and reconsider and then seek the truth. Oh, I don't know why I was hearing a watchdog. Somebody was a watchdog or watching somebody. They found something out. Somebody was made aware. I was hearing somebody was privy to some information. So, so the truth was found out about something. There was some type of something being brought to light and somebody is like trying to weigh things out, trying to figure out, okay, what's the next step? Um, going back to the five of feeling alone or the five of pentacles, this is an energy also of isolation and this is a low vibrational number. So I'm going to see if there is any, anything more we need to know about this five of pentacles, which is the water material troubles. There's a problem here. Okay. There could be haters in the mix. Wow. Wow. Okay. So the person causing you negativity is a fire sign. That's crazy. Business rival. Can't stand your grind and hustle. So there is somebody who is competing with you. Maybe in the workplace. This could have been somebody you used to work with. Um, all right. I was hearing like somebody saying, how does she do it? You know, how does he do it? Like they're literally wa pocket watching you. All right. Okay. Um, somebody's pocket watching somebody. Okay. All right. Virgo message. Message. Message to Virgo. From the fairy. The fairies. Virgo. Ooh, beautiful. Healer, nourishment, nurture. That's beautiful. The wild hunt, excitement, fr frenzy, journey makes a lot of sense. You know, you guys are <laughs> probably very excited for your birthday this month. For some of you Virgos. She who laughs. Okay. Humor, perspective, mirth. All right. So I do see that you're encouraged to nourish yourself at this time. Take care of your mind, body, and spirit. I see here. Make time to enjoy life um some of you need some more excitement in your life i was hearing that um, some of you are taking things way too seriously i was hearing have fun for once and find moments to you know laugh and enjoy yourself some of you could have been born on august 30th all right i'm seeing things from a different perspective i was hearing i laugh at you so it could just be that um, it could be somebody trying to get a rise out of someone and it's just really important just to, I don't know, see the bigger picture. All right. It may even help you to laugh at them. <laughs> okay. That's crazy. Let's see. Let's see what's going on with your personal power, girl. Your personal power. 
Um, I was saying some of you need to go to a comedy show if you haven't laughed in a long time and things just been so crazy and just, you know, you've been overextending yourself to the point where your health is declining. You know, you need to pull back your energy. Um, and some of you need to go, I don't know, maybe go to a comedy club, you know, watch a movie or a show that makes you laugh and, you know, just to raise, just raise your vibrations, okay? So it could be a, quite a few things you gotta do to raise your vibrations because, you know, kind of started off a little rough, you know. And uh, Spirit was telling me that this dark energy, this thick energy could be your pessimism. Okay, so you could have a pessimistic mindset, you know, being too serious or low vibrational. You know, you got to be very careful with that, that energy here. All right. Okay, personal power for Virgo. Okay, I am fearless. Some of you could have Aries in your chart, so you're being fear, uh, fearless. This is going to be Aries North Node vibes here so some of you could be an Aries North Node but you're being fearless you're going after what you want this is main character energy I was hearing this is the way to redeem yourself okay Virgo here we go there you are Virgo that's you so it says I am a problem solver I am a problem solver that's Virgo coming out for you thank you spirit all right okay I am lovable I trust my intuition. Okay. I am supported. And this is divine support. This is support from God. Your angels here. People. I was hearing earth angels. I follow my heart. Libra. So you can have Libra in your chart. So. Yeah. You know. Understand that you have the ability to solve your issues. Your problems. I feel like some of you. It starts with you. Okay, it definitely starts with you. And I feel like once you start healing and working on yourself, okay, I feel like you're going to be supported in this process, whether that be um, by people around you or, um, you know, divine beings here. I feel like some of you are taking the lead in your life, you know, with this Aries energy and you're allowing, allowing your intuition to guide you to move to move forward all right and we i mentioned libra earlier in the reading when we pull the seven of wands traditionally seven of wands and um what was the other one i can't remember what the other one was i know there was a seven of swords that came out with seeking the truth but there was another number seven, and it's going to bug me if I don't find it. Um, yeah, so it's like Libra energy, partnerships, relationships. Yeah, the crown chakra. So seven is coming out three times. All right, so it came out three times. So following your intuition when it comes to relationships and partnerships. Um... Right. Um, you're also encouraged to follow your heart. Okay, I was hearing, but it has to be logical. <laughs> okay, it has to be logical. That's what I was hearing. That's what I was hearing. Um, yeah, and seeing yourself as lovable. One more card for Virgo. Yes, I am confident. Okay, and being confident with the decisions that you're making um there is an energy of someone it could be your partnerships or relationships that don't let make you feel loved they kind of make you feel i don't know not so good let me just say that okay so it could be your a situation that made you feel like you weren't lovable or no one cared about you or whatever something like that okay but you need to be confident Cosmic message for Virgo. Virgo's cosmic message. 
for the month of August. Virgo's cosmic message for the month of August. All right. Listen to your body and do what is it is asking of you. So you need to do, listen to your body. All right. I was hearing positive messages. Okay. Be very mindful of the internal dialogue you had. It could be dark energy, so pay attention to that, okay? Low vibrational energies. So be very mindful of that, but um, I do see this when you need to listen to your body. Your body's trying to alert you of something, okay? If, you know, you've been getting messages of, okay, maybe I need to uh, intermittent fast, or maybe I need to cut out sugar, or maybe I need to go for, I don't know, um, a jog or whatever. Listen to your body, act accordingly. All right, stay present. That's where life happens. So you're needing to stay in the present moment. Some of you could be getting future, future sick, which it happens. Maybe you're focused on, you know, some type of, maybe an issue that's taking place and you're worried about the future or what the outcome is going to be. But it's going to be really important for you to stay present in the moment, in the current moment. I know it's hard. Life can be <laughs> life can be hard and life can be wonderful. Which will you focus on? Okay, you can be in a situation that's daunting, draining, low vibrational. You know, and maybe you're constantly focused on that, or that is maybe your energy signature. Okay, so this card is pretty much telling you you have a choice whether to make your situation or your life hard, or you can make it wonderful. So the ball's really in your court. Do your Thoughts need a reboot. Focus on the good in your life. Wow. So I knew spirit was onto something when I was told to put on the crown chakra music for you guys. Okay. So some of you are definitely need to do some crown chakra clearing and balancing. Stop giving away your power right now. So stop giving away your power to situations, to the past, to dark energy, okay, to other people. You can use some self-care time, like now. Schedule it in, yes. So you need some self-care. Take care of yourself. All right, Virgo? So this is the end of the reading. God bless.